Hey guys, it's Glenn Trayer, Mountain Man Journals, Trayer Wilderness. Um, sorry about my cold. Uh, hopefully you'll be able to understand me okay and everything. Um, I'm shooting a video today, kind of uh, for a couple different reasons. Um, one of the reasons is. Um, I had a couple people in one of my videos saying that uh, something can't be done. Um, you can't do it. And I've heard it said on other channels. Um, you can't do it. It can't be done. Um, and that's in regard to um, getting your arm stuck in a 330 or a 280 or a 220 whatever and uh, not being able to use the rope the rope trick like I showed in one of my videos for setting the net um, to get yourself out of that um, and I'm going to show you today how you can do that I haven't seen any videos to be honest on how to do this um, I don't know of any out there that actually show you. I hear guys talk about it and stuff. Um, a while back, a little, little while back, my uh, wife actually helped me come up with this idea. Because um, I was thinking, you know, I, I, I was thinking, yeah, if you had to do this, get yourself out in a situation, how would you do it? So I'm going to show you today how you could do this and this can be done uh, a couple different ways I'm going to show you different ways of doing it um, just to, to show that it can be done obviously I'm not going to stick my arm in a 330 and let it go off I'm not that stupid but what I did was I stuck a piece of wood in this 330 and what I'm going to do is take my arm and put it through like such and I'm not going to use that arm as if that was stuck on my my arm obviously you're probably if you got one of these stuck on your arm most likely you're going to have a broken arm most likely um, unless you have big bones you know thick solid bones but there's still a good chance that you're going to have a broken arm so you're going to be in a lot of pain a lot of pain um, anybody that's had a broken no or a broken um, arm knows that it hurts. Um, it does hurt. I'm gonna show you how to tie this off and everything in order to do this, but uh, I'm gonna readjust the camera so you can see a little better how it's done and uh, show you that. And I'm 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 not trying to belittle anyone. I'm not trying to put anyone down. I'm not trying to, you know, say, hey, you did this or you did that. I'm not trying to do that. I'm just showing how this can be done, how it can help you in a situation. Because you get yourself in a situation. you got to take and, and, and you can't just start panicking, you know, in any situation. You know, you got to take and use STA. Stop, think act you can't just react or you're gonna get yourself in a world of hurt um, so what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna readjust this camera show you how I, I'm doing this and uh, a way you could get yourself out if you were in a situation um, I'm gonna show you two different ways of doing it so that being said I'll get right back with you All right, now hopefully you'll be able to see this okay. And I'm gonna shoot a quick little um, video that will go along with this to show you a little better how to do this one um, knot or uh, hitch. Um, I don't necessarily know exactly what it's called. Um, my uncle Galen showed it to me and uh, I appreciate it Galen for showing it to me. Um, 
it's I guess it's called the logger's hitch I'm not sure actually I think I'm gonna show you that now that way there's no confusion you'll be using the tail end of your your setting rope and this is how it's how it's done okay here's my log I'm gonna go over this all right I'm gonna go go right over top of my log here taking my tail end I'm coming in and around and I'm coming back through almost like you were taking making a knot now what you're doing there you're creating a loop right here and you can use this for logging or whatever I've used it for logging and stuff but then you take and wrap that in around this rope and come back through like that coming right back through there and then you do it again and if you're logging you probably want to do that like three four times but see what that does is that causes that to bind down on itself and it can't it can't come undone um, it won't come undone on you so that's how that's tied all right now <coughs> hopefully you'll be able to see this I'm gonna uh, take and, and watch this then after I'm done it and make sure you can see it okay so all right we're taking and right, come in the other side um, we've got our arms stuck in this conibear. bear all right and obviously we're gonna be in pain stop think act take some deep breaths breathe relax yourself because being worked up isn't gonna help you in any situation okay so what I'm doing is I'm taking the same way as you would use this to set come up through from the bottom come all the way up through now I'm coming back up through I'm going around come back down and coming back up through okay that leaves me this tail end this nice long tail end now what I'm doing is I'm going around this limb and I'm tying that knot like I showed you okay I'm going around I'm coming back up through and I'm going around my uh, I need a little more tail um, going back around my my rope here and what that does is again that allows that to pull tight on itself right like that okay now using that I'm taking my uh, loop end right here placing that onto my foot all right now this is where it kind of gets a little tricky because your arm is only bent one way now I take and I push down sliding the safety down and rehooking the safety okay now I can take and just leave that hooked up or I can take and um, which I think I'm gonna do undo this and redo do it on the other side and again like I said this video is not meant to belittle anybody or you know anything I, I'm just trying to help show that it can be done and it is a good re you know there is a good reason to carry these um, these uh, setting ropes and use them um, to get yourself out of situations okay I'm coming up through down around and coming back up through again okay right like you would use it to set coming around making my loop coming back around coming over my uh, end there coming back around and going over my end there like I said if you were logging you'd want to do that several times you know now pull this excess back up through um, I'm gonna do it, keep doing it one-handed here um, placing this on my foot and it might be awkward position but hey you're getting yourself out of a jam I don't think I'd be too concerned about an awkward position 
There again, pushing down, releasing, and getting yourself out. Okay? Now I'm going to show you another situation, another way. You, you say, well, you might not be in a place that has limbs, okay, that you can get to. You can use this same thing on a straight up and down tree no limbs anybody that's trapping beaver or these aren't necessarily used just for beaver trapping bobcat whatever you might be trapping with these traps you can use this knot here and this idea the same way as what I did on a limb and I'm gonna show you that here in a, in a moment so that's how you do it so I'm gonna go over here and I'm gonna get another tree because everybody that's trapping beaver most times that's used for beaver if you're trapping beaver you're in a place where there's limb or, or trees small trees and stuff like that so I'm gonna show you that alright guys um, so this is how you do it for demonstration purposes I'm only doing one spring because of the time on this video and that but it's just, it's no different than if you were doing it um, you know on a limb it's same same thing actually I think this might be easier than doing it on a limb so I'm only doing one spring alright so I got my arm stuck in this trap here obviously this log sorry if that gets in the way to uh, that you can see uh, Let's keep it from going completely shut on my arm. All right, so you know, coming up, up through my um, piece here, coming back down, coming back up through, and now I got my my uh, my tail end. Now this might be a little harder to get it set up, but. Coming back over and go back over top, come back around, um, come. Ah. See this? This might be a little, little, you know, tough, but you can do it. Around, coming back over, back over again, the same way, you know, same knot, same, same concept. Um, there's no. Um, little limbs or anything you know you could do this on an alder or whatever you might have in your area um, here there again I'm taking and I'm making my loop sticking it on my foot and I'm pressing down that would allow you right there to get your arm out Hopefully you can see this down here, but it's the same concept, um, you know, as doing it on a limb. But I wanted to show you that you can do it on a straight up and down tree, um, you know. Um, be careful with these traps though, guys. You know, just because you can get yourself out and I just showed how to do that, doesn't mean you drop your guard. Um, they're, they're dangerous, but if used properly and with caution, you should always get, get a one of those safeties. I don't have one personally, I need to get one, but a safety mechanism that goes on the top on your jaw, so when you're setting, kind of eliminates one of them chances. Um, but you need to be careful. Be very, very careful with these traps, these conibears. You know, most likely one of these goes off in your arm, good chance you're going to break your arm good chance but uh, well guys I'm gonna shut up now um, I'm sure this video is long enough but um, like I said I was trying not to belittle anybody I'm not trying to put anybody down but I just wanted to show this how you could do this if you were in a situation and remember S T A stop think act um, in any stressful situation you need to do that because you get yourself out of a jam just sit back take some deep breaths 
think about your situation and go on. Um, well, guys, I guess with that being said, hope you enjoyed this. Hope you got something out of it. And again, I thank you for your views and for everybody. Uh, sound like Dave Canterbury. <laughs> um, I thank you for all you do for us and watching our videos and stuff. And uh, hope everybody's doing well out there. And I guess with that being said, guys, take care. God bless. And uh, we'll catch you on the next one. Have a good one.